Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, October 30th. Uh, as I know, it's Devil's Night or the day before Halloween. Uh, this is uh, video number one that I'm doing for my uh, travel vlog here. Um, I've got this brand new camera here. Uh, so uh, it's going to get a lot of video. Uh, I'm really excited for this trip. Um, I'm still at home now. I leave here at 11.30. It is now a little bit before 9 in the morning. Uh, about ready to get my coffee. And then uh, I'm all packed. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for this trip. Alright, I will catch you guys in a little bit. Later. Hey everybody, this is uh, stop number two. I'm at the airport. You're welcome. Having me a uh, fresh haze. Yeah, uh, thinking about it, but I'm staying at Circus Circus, so I didn't want to make my costume too scary. <laughs> I'm just having a beer before I uh, board my flight to uh, Vegas. Um, made it through TSA, no problem. So, uh, just enjoying this before I have to uh, board. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Well, I'm here at Circus Circus. Um, wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I clearly ordered a room with a king size bed and they gave me two double beds and it's just me here so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this second bed but anyhow I made it safe um, I'm here um, I'll do another update a little later on tonight um, but until then I'm here I'm gonna go get something to eat I think and I'll catch you guys later. Until then. Well, I made it to uh, Circus Circus here. And they kind of screwed up my room. Um, I am sitting on one bed here. I'll show you guys. But, I also have this. So, my room reservation was for a single bed, king size. But, that didn't happen. Um, sorry I didn't get an, up, I didn't get an update. Um, <clears throat> earlier um, I was just having too much fun with a friend of mine um, thank you very much uh, for coming spend some time with me of course tomorrow's Halloween so uh, be safe um, don't steal kids candy if you see somebody stealing kids candy tell them that they shouldn't do it anyways uh, back to my room um, I've got a wonderful view of absolutely nothing. I can see the Encore Hotel, which has had its better days. And I have a wonderful view of a roof. And I've been drinking a little bit. Um, went to Vince Neal's Tato, I believe was it's, what it's called. Um... You know, and I got this thing here. This was a pina colada. Um, you get to keep the container. It was uh, 16 bucks, but refills on it are 12. I might get a refill tomorrow. Um, in a couple of the convenience stores here, they have uh, you buy two of the Tall Boy cans, you get a free uh, shot bottle. So right now I'm drinking a Lagunitas IPA because if you know if you guys know me, you know me and my IPAs. And other than that, you know what? It's wow, it's 12:09 right now. So uh, guys, I will uh, catch you all later. 
have a good night have a good halloween be safe um and most of all have fun till till tomorrow i'll talk to you later bye bye There we are. And good uh, morning to you all. I think it's still morning. Uh, happy Halloween. Uh, this is day number two of my trip. Um, last night was really fun. Uh, met up with a friend of mine that lives here. And, you know, we went to uh, Vince Neal's little restaurant that they have here at Circus Circus. And, you know, we got... Um, you know, I, I think I showed you guys this already in a previous video, but um, this little yard thing here, well, it's not a yard, it's a guitar. Uh, I'm going to have to manage to fit that in my, uh, manage to fit that in my suitcase. Um, Got to do a lot of packing here because um, I'm leaving Vegas tomorrow morning to go to New York City. So, um, so far so good on this trip. Um, having a lot of fun haven't seen anybody really dress up yet but then again it still is pretty early it's 11 41 in the morning here um, I'm gonna include a video that um, my friend shot when we were at the Vince Neil bar and restaurant last night of the bartender uh, it was really cool what he was doing so uh, till I catch you guys again I will uh, keep you posted throughout the day if I can um, Sorry, just checking for the button here. Uh, <laughs> but again, happy Halloween. Be safe tonight, guys, and uh, have fun. All right, later. What's up, everybody? Uh, it is Halloween afternoon here. It's about two, a little after 2 o'clock, you know, 10, 12 after 2. Um, in my wanderings earlier, to, um, just a few minutes ago, I went to a Walgreens, and I saw some things that I wanted to share with you guys and uh, show you what I had, what I bought. Um, of course, here's my uh, Bud Light Chilada that I bought last night. Um, they have an interesting deal here where if you buy two of those tall boys, you get a free shot, alcohol shot. Um, but it's like 13 bucks here. Um, so, it, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just going to put this one on ice right now. Might drink that one a little later. Um, but... Malibu, the rum, uh, has their own little drinks now, it looks like. Um, we have a fizzy pink lemonade, and we have a pineapple. Bring it over here so I can show you guys. I'm going to do a little taste test of these. And of course, if anybody knows me, I'm a big IPA guy. And so I saw this one from Samuel Adams. You know, they make the Boston Lagers. Um, and this is a Rebel IPA. So, and if you know anything about my trip, um, this is the uh, one IPA beer tour, you know, in every city I hit. Um, haven't found a good one here in Las Vegas yet. Um, the ones I've had were uh, at a Lagunitas last night, and they're from California. These guys, of course, are from Boston. So let's uh, give these give these uh, guys. Uh, a drink here says sip easy and enjoy responsibly well it is Vegas so what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas so I've got the fizzy pink lemonade here we'll just give this a try yeah it's all right a um, little a little uh, di different than what I'm used to um, now we'll try the pineapple see how that goes and I have, I have a really bad feeling here that uh, the flavors will not mix once I get this IPA in me. So uh, this is the pineapple. We'll give this one a try real quick. It just tastes like pineapple juice. You gotta be careful with that one because these are 5% so just be really careful. And if you know anything about me also, I like to look at um, alcohol content and you know the IBUs on an IPA or international bitter unit. Um, this one is six and a half percent and it's a 45 IBU. So does it say on here 10 cent Oregon? 
it does. Uh, I explained to my cashier at Walgreens here um, about, I want to say, a quarter of a mile from here. Um, they have sales tax just like us in Washington, but in Oregon, they tax you, they have deposit on the cans and bottles, and that means anything like water and you know things like that. Oh, we're, we are foamy here. We are very foamy here. Look at look at that. Just look at that foam. All right, here we go. Not bad. I actually enjoy that. Um, if I can find it in Portland, I will definitely uh, try that one. Um, everything's going to hit good here, guys. Um, it is Halloween. I've already seen one uh, little kid dressed up as Deadpool. <laughs> it was really cute. Um, don't know if I'm going to dress up tonight or not. Um, I do have a costume. I, I do have a couple costumes here with me. But I... I just don't know because I have to get up very early tomorrow morning um, to uh, catch a flight to New York City. Um, so hopefully uh, things will work out tonight. But anyways guys, um, as always it's been fun. Um, this is day number two of my trip and I am having an absolute fun time. Um, uh, I'm just running out of things to say, so, uh, uh, well, oh, I, I was going to mention, uh, Circus Circus, where I'm staying at. They are, even though they are an MGM-owned hotel, and they do accept, like, the My Vegas rewards points, um, they have what's called the Players Club, and it's a free membership, and for every, once you get to 100 points, you get free slot play, and they also have, if you get, you know, 300 points, you get a free t-shirt, 500 points is a specialty drink, 1,000 points is a free buffet, and two free nights at 1,500 points. So, it's like every dollar you spend, you get a point. So, for two free nights, it's like $1,500. When you can go on orbits and get it for like 100 bucks. But, I mean, if you're a gambler, you're, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off here. Uh, gonna probably start e the editing process. I have to. Do, I have to edit um, last yesterday, and I'm probably gonna have to edit today. Um, but you know, just having fun here. I'm hoping to see my cousin. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a hold of him tonight. Um, I got a hold of him last night, but I wasn't gonna go two and a half miles from here um, because I'm not very familiar with the area. Um, it's like I told my mother on the phone last night. I like to be familiar with my surroundings. You know, I like to I like to take stock of where I'm at. Um, you know, I found a Walgreens. I found a 7-Eleven. I found a Ross Dress for Less if I need anything. Uh, so, uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I got some uh, some cans to drink. <laughs> um, I, I will see you guys uh, later this evening. And... Uh, We'll have some more fun. Till then, I will see you later. Well, good evening, everybody. It's uh, the night of Halloween. It is now 10.23 in the evening. Um, and my hair's not, you know, the greatest right now. I don't have my hat on, as you can see. Um, I didn't even put my costume on. I didn't feel like dressing up. Um, got some rather upsetting news earlier. Uh, seems my flight was can was delayed. I was supposed to leave here in Las Vegas at 11:15 tomorrow, uh, but now it's not until 11:47, which means I won't get to New York until 7:35 Eastern, which is 4:35. So. I had planned to leave here at about 9 o'clock, you know, 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, but uh, I guess that's not going to happen now. Uh, I'll, I'll probably still leave there then and just, you know, go through TSA and wait, but um, other than that, uh, it's been a pretty uneventful Halloween here. 
Um, saw a lot of costumes. Uh, people don't want their picture taken, which is understandable because they thought I'd charge them 20 bucks, which I'm not going to do. Um, <laughs> I'm not that evil. Um, got another IPA. Um, this one actually is a little local um, to us in the, the Northwest, and I explained that to a, uh, a cashier at the Walgreens, um, not too far from the hotel here. Uh, got some Mirror Pond from Deschutes. Um, little little IPA here that I'm always pretty fond of. Um, and but other than that, you know, just the flight being delayed, so I figured I'd get a six pack of beer and just call it a night. You know, might go down and play a couple more games or do whatever. But I'm having a good time. Uh, it you know things things happen, and so it is what it is. Um, until until then, I you'll, I will uh, I still got to edit yesterday's footage and tonight today's footage. Um, I just might do it as one long episode. Um, we'll see. Um, I might edit the first two days. Who knows? But until then, cheers to you guys. Have a good night, and uh, I'll catch you on the next step, on the next clip. Until then. Well, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Thursday, November 1st. Uh, just got out of the shower. I'm still here at uh, Circus Circus in Las Vegas. Uh, getting ready to check out and uh, gonna head to uh, McCarran Airport here. Um, and as I'm gonna go to uh, New York City, um, I will try to have an update for you when I get to the airport. Um, until then, uh, guys, I, I hope you had a good Halloween. Um, but uh, I will uh, talk at you in the meantime. Take care. All right, guys. It's time to say goodbye to uh, Circus Circus. This is the room I had. The only nice thing was this cabinet. It has an iron board on this side, closet on the other. There's my table that I had. It all lit up here. But it's time to check out and head out. Show you the table real quick. It was a nice table. Bed number one that hardly got used, except for when I was watching TV. And then the one I slept on didn't sleep under the cup, under the shoes because God knows what's under there. The nightstand. I'm bored, can't you tell? <laughs> a giant ass mirror. And of course, as we come over here, a view of a wall. A hotel being built and a roof. Alright guys, uh, time for me to head out and head now to uh, McCarran Airport. I'll see you then. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, it's me again. Uh, I am here at the Newark International Airport. Um, had to get me a uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Uh, we don't have these back home, so uh, I kind of figured it would be kind of a nice treat before I head out of here. Um, actually got in a little earlier than expected, so that's always a plus. Um, as you can hear overhead, they're, they're doing calls, and I just saw a little kid trip out there. A bit hard. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to enjoy this coffee for a bit, and then kind of figure out what I'm going to do next. So, uh, until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's me. Uh, sorry I haven't been post. Sorry I didn't do an update over the weekend. Uh, it was kind of a long uh, weekend. Um, I'm at my hotel room now in uh, Newark, New Jersey, at the Best Western, uh, Best Western Plus Newark Airport West. Uh, been here since Sunday. Um, check out tomorrow. 
So, uh, I'm going to see what I can uh, look uh, into and in finding. Um, but it's just been one of those one of those week weekends. Um, I'd rather not talk about it. Um, only a few people know about it, but I'm not going to talk about it here. Um, I still got to find a uh, little pin, you know, a little pin to eject the SD card from my phone uh, so I can take all these videos that I'm making for you guys and edit them on my phone. So hopefully I can find something um, within the next couple of days. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys in a, a little bit later. Um, until then, sorry for uh, not updating you guys, but again, be easy. I'll be here um, in New Jersey probably until Wednesday. Then I'll be in uh, Philadelphia uh, Thursday. And then I will be in Los Angeles uh, Thursday or Thursday evening, Friday, Saturday, and then I'm back home on Sunday. Um, I had to think there for a minute. Plus, WWE uh, is on right now, and it's not very often I get to watch it. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, I, I love you all. I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Well, good morning, everybody. It is the morning of Tuesday. The, I gotta look here, Tuesday the 6th of November. Um, I'm still here at the uh, Best Western Plus Newark Airport West. I'm getting ready to check out here. Um, just gotta try to figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my, my day today. Um, I have to be in Philadelphia by tomorrow because I have a flight out there at 4.45 in the afternoon. Um, I'll be in Los Angeles um, by 8.09 p.m. on Thursday evening. So, uh, uh, just n I'm not real impressed with uh, New York, New Jersey. Um, not, a, not, not a good trip here for me. Um, but you know, it, it's a learning experience and it is what it is. Um, but I've got about an hour and a half before I have to uh, check out here. So uh, I'm just gonna keep this one short and sweet. Um, just had an amazing breakfast. Um, hats off to uh, the staff here um, for having an amazing continental breakfast with choices such as yogurt and you know, you got coffee, tea, oatmeal, um, you got orange juice, lemonade, mango orange, apple juice, and that's just the juices, and then you've got four different kinds of cereals, got milk for the cereals, um, and then you get to your bread stuff, so, you know, you got bagels, and, you know, white wheat, sourdough, rye for your toast, and then you've got scrambled eggs, and, you know, uh, potatoes, and sausage, and bacon, and waffles, I mean, they go all out on this, and it is fantastic um the staff has been really super friendly here um if i do come back um, i'm definitely staying at this hotel again because it's been nothing but a great experience for me here um anyways guys i'm gonna finish packing up here um hopefully to give hopefully i'll give you an update a little later today but until then be good be be easy and i'll see you soon hey look guys this is the view that I had. Of course, you can see the streaks on the window. It's just like home, you know, rain. But I got a pretty good, well, if it wasn't so cloudy and all that, you could see the airport tower from here. But, you know, can't complain really about the uh, hotel here. And then, of course, the billboard in the background. I'm still trying to see if I can zoom in on it. Let's see if it'll... It won't focus. It says, eat clean, bro. Must be a Jersey Shore, Jersey Shore thing. Anyways, guys, I'm going to shut this off. I'll talk to you later, all right? Have a good one.
Hey guys, it's me. Um, <clears throat> sorry I look a little disheveled and a little tired, but uh, I've been here at the Newark airport uh, since yesterday because um, I didn't get a paycheck. Um, apparently somebody screwed up in payroll, so I didn't get um, any money. Uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't get a hotel room and, you know, nothing. But thankfully I have a very good friend, um, Stephanie, who uh, sent me $10 for food. And then my dad and my uncle sent me some money for my uh, ticket to Philadelphia. Um, which um, is going to be cheaper than I thought because um, it seems that the New Jersey transit system runs to uh, Philadelphia. So... Um, I just have to get to Philadelphia by no later than 2.15 tomorrow <clears throat> because I got an email in my uh, email box saying that I have to be at the airport two hours uh, before my flight takes off. Um, I leave at 4.15 Eastern, um, 1.15 out, you know, where we are, uh, Pacific. Um, and I arrive in Los Angeles at 8.09 p.m., so it'll be nice to be back on the west coast uh really looking forward to to that um really haven't had much fun here in newark um there is absolutely nothing here um in this area when i was the best western there was absolutely nothing around but industrial um i should have stayed at the wyndham because the wyndham had a lot better um well first of all it was cheaper which i didn't know at the time um, it has a really cool gift shop, and I actually found some uh, football stuff. I found Denver Broncos for uh, you Broncos fans, and I found some Seahawks stuff there too. Um, but again, because I didn't get a paycheck this week, couldn't get any souvenirs while I was here, which kind of sucks because I was really hoping to get something for my friends and for myself and my family. But, you know, there's always Amazon or eBay, you know. Um, but I can actually say that I actually have finally been to New York, uh, the New York, New Jersey area, so um, I might come back. I don't know yet. Uh, depends on things. Um, but tomorrow, I'll just look forward to Los Angeles. Uh, so I'm going to cut this one off. Uh, and the next time you guys see me, I'll be in Philadelphia, either at the bus station or at the airport so uh, until then guys you take care and good morning guys it is the morning of Thursday the 8th today marks the seventh day I've been here in Newark um, I'm actually getting ready to uh, head out to Trenton, New Jersey, so I can catch a train from there to Philadelphia. Um, I'm going to show you the last visuals I have, or will have, of this uh, vlog of um, the city of Newark, or you know what is visible from here. So if you just hang on a second. As you can see, it's pretty lit up. You know, it's about 4.30 in the morning here. Uh, 1.30 on the, on the left coast where we live, or some of us live. But it's nothing to really write home about in this area. Um, a lot of industrial area. Um, I'll plan better next time. give you guys an update when I get to uh, Trenton, Trenton Station, so uh, till then, take care. Hey guys, it's me again. I'm um, just sitting here at the uh, in a waiting room, nice warm waiting room for uh, my train to Trenton, New Jersey. Um, should be like a half hour ride there. And then um, I should be at the 30th Street um, transit center in Philadelphia by 7 o'clock and with any luck I'll be at the airport in Philadelphia at 7.45 or so give or take I don't know 
Um, but, yep, now I'm just waiting. I, if you can see the big board back here, um, you see I'm the 531 Trenton Track 5. Arrives in 13 minutes. Oh, looks like they do go to Boston. I was telling uh, my friend Nate that I wasn't sure if they went to Boston. But uh, looks like they do. Uh, track one. So, who knows? Oh, it's an Amtrak. That's why. So, yeah, it looks like Amtrak comes here too. So, I'm riding uh, New Jersey Transit um, trains. And then once I get to Trenton, it's going to be called the SEPTRA. SEPTA um, Southeast Pennsylvania Transit Association, I think is what it is. Um, but I'm just checking the checking my time here. Uh, Newark Internet 531. So I'll be at 30, 30th Street Station at 744. So with any luck I will be at the airport uh, a little after 8. Um, you never know with these things. You know, things can happen. Um, but um, it's pretty well lit in here. It's very warm in here, which is good because it's kind of chilly outside right now here in uh, Newark, New Jersey. Um, I'm still technically part, I'm still technically at the airport, um, but I'm at what's called the air train um, terminal, um, which is good. I mean, I'd rather be here than inside one of the airport terminals where um, I spent the past couple of days and but anyways guys I'm going to uh, let you all go on this one um, I figured I'm just going to edit this all into one big episode for you guys so you can all see it all at once so you can see my misadventures um, next time you hear from me will probably be once I get to uh, Trenton, New Jersey um, until then guys take care and I will talk to you later I had to share this with you guys, but look at this. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. So we'll do a walkthrough too to make sure everybody's off the train. Much better than uh, the Max buses, the Max trains. Anyways, I'm talking to you later. Well, guys, I made it to uh, Trenton. Uh, getting ready to take off here for Philadelphia. So, um,. Trenton, Trenton Station, bus station is actually pretty cool. They've got Dunkin' Donuts, uh, Wells Fargo ATM, uh, PFC or P, PNC Bank, and a lot of really cool things. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I'll talk to you when I get to uh, Philadelphia. Till then, see ya. Hey, what's up, everybody? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I am here at Philadelphia International Airport uh, quite a bit early. Um, I was told that they could not hold my bag uh, until four hours before I uh, flew out. So, um, looks like I'll be uh, doing, uh, turning it in here in about three hours. In the meantime, I'm going to probably... Uh, See what emails I got and a bunch of crap. Uh, <laughs> um, probably just might uh, you know take a little nap or something. I don't know. Um, plan on sleeping the whole flight because it's gonna be like uh, let's see, leave here at 1:45, get in at 8:09. Uh, that's about a, uh, almost six and a half hours. 
I think I can catch a good siesta and you know make up for the lost time, lost uh, sleep that I got at uh, Newark Liberty International Airport. Uh, but that's another story. Um, but I made it here. Uh, everything's good. I'm all checked in. Um, that's about it. Um, I think the next update I do is when I'm out of uh, TSA security and just go from there. Till then, talk to you guys later. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Well, it is afternoon here at uh, Philadelphia International. I'm about three hours out from uh, flying to Los Angeles. Um, just trying to charge my phone so I can uh, have some music to listen to. It's going to be a, about a six and a half hour flight. Um, but you know, with the airline I'm flying with is Spirit, and they're usually pretty good about getting us there early. Um, when I left for this trip, um, I started off with Spirit from Portland to Las Vegas, and we got there uh, half an hour early, earlier than we were supposed to, so uh, that's always good. Uh, I've also learned that I'm never going to fly with United Airlines again. Um, Sorry, uh, there was an announcement over the uh, overhead here. Uh, but as you can see, I'm just kind of chilling. Yeah, just just relaxing. Um, my flight doesn't even board for another two hours, two hours and 15 minutes. So, um, one of the things that I had when I was here, um, I just had lunch probably about 15 minutes ago, was this place called Cerritos, C-U-R-I-T-T-O-S. Um, kind of reminds me of like uh, Qdoba or Chipotle. Um, it was really good, really, really big, uh, hearty burrito. Um, of course, you know you paid the airport price, which was it was nine ninety nine, and it was like another three dollars for a twenty ounce Pepsi. So, uh, anyhow, um, don't know if I'll do an update uh, as I'm on the plane or. You know what the deal is but I will um, before this evening is over whether or not I'm in I'm on the plane or I've already landed in Los Angeles I will give you guys an update so uh, until you hear from me again I'll talk to you later peace what's up everybody it's me again uh, I made it to Los Angeles I am at the Crown Plaza Hotel um, which is about half a mile from LAX. Um, I got somewhat of a view here. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you can see there's the Sheridan. It, you can see it all through the window here. A parking lot. I think that's 405 over there. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But... Now... I don't know if... Orbit screwed up on my reservation because I ordered the king bed in Vegas and two double beds here, but in Vegas I got the two double beds and here I get the king size bed. So, I mean, this room is actually pretty nice. I mean, I've got a little little chair. There's my backpack there. A little chair with a footstool. That's a pretty cool painting. Must be the Alamo or something. Now this is kind of interesting here. Um, when I saw this, you got all these, you got iPod, iPhone, USB charging, VGA, HDMI. So you could pretty much watch whatever you want on that TV there. I'm not gonna, I probably won't turn the TV on because I've got all the things I need on my phone. Uh, just charging the phone. Uh, another, it's been a long day. Um, I left Newark at 1.45 this morning, uh, West Coast time. Um, was in Philadelphia, was in Philadelphia for, from about 8 o'clock until 
Um, so it would have been 5 o'clock on the West Coast until about 4.45 is when my flight took off. So 1.45. And I landed, um, you know, we landed at 7.30 when we weren't supposed to land until like 8.09. So made good time. Um, so I'm here until Sunday. Um, I hope uh, this is going to turn out better than Vegas and New York did. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Until then, talk to you soon. Well, hey guys, good afternoon. It is Friday, November 9th. Um, this will probably be the last video I use with this video camera. Um, I've come to a really difficult decision to, uh, at least for now, return this camera to um, Best Buy and get my money back because I kind of need the money um, more than anything. Um, this trip has just been disastrous from the from the get-go and I I just can't just can't do it anymore um, I may be here a little longer than expected because there's a wildfire here in Malibu uh, Hollywood etc um, I found that they've evacuated the entire city of Malibu and I can see the smoke from my room here at the Crown Plaza. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of switch the camera, and you can see that cloud over there. That's not a cloud. That is smoke. And I hope my flight doesn't get grounded um, in Portland or here in LA because I have an eight o'clock flight Sunday morning. Um, but yeah, um, this whole trip has been a disaster for me. Uh, the only fun time I had was in Las Vegas and I'm, I just don't know what else to do. So, um, I guess the next update you see for me will be done on my phone. I'm um, going to take out the memory card. Um, i got to see if the hotel here has a small paper clip I can use so I can switch out the memory card between my phone and... So, you know, the memory card I have, I had for this one. But, you know, lesson learned. Um, I just... I just don't know, well, don't know, man. Anyways, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on things, and uh, till then, I'll, I'll see you when I see you, okay? Well, what's up, everybody? It's uh, me again, uh, coming to you from the Crown Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles, California. Um... I'm just taking a look outside and it looks, I don't know if that's smog or if that is smoke from the fire um, that's been going on in um, Malibu and, and, you know, areas like that. I'm just hoping that my flight doesn't get uh, canceled tomorrow, uh, otherwise I am in very much trouble. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks worse today than it did yesterday. Um, yesterday there was just a big plume of smoke that I saw and today it's just a hazy hazy uh, almost cloud-like um, smoke um, I'll just turn the camera to the side here and you can see it through my window here but yeah I was able to see the Hollywood sign this morning but now I can't even see it it is so bad. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, nothing really happened in here. It's my last day uh, on this on this trip, which has not been the greatest. Um, I'll explain more detail when I get home tomorrow evening. 
I should be home tomorrow around 11.30 or 12 in the afternoon, but this just has not been, I mean, this has just not been a good trip at all. Um, I just don't know what else to say. I just had a lot of things, not a lot of unlucky breaks not go my way, and, you know, live and learn, right? All right, uh, I'll give you guys an update a little later, see how things are going, but until then, talk to you later. Peace. Yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, Saturday night here, but I'm having a little too much fun. <laughs> yeah, my friend throwing her hand in there. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we're we're having some fun here, and uh, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully I leave tomorrow. Hopefully, yes. Big hopeful. You know, God, God willing that the uh, smoke dissipates between now and Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later, alright? Hey, guys. It's me again. Uh, sorry I didn't do an update uh, this morning when I was still in Los Angeles. Uh, or when I did a or when I was at LAX, or even PDX when I landed, but uh, I am home now. Um, so this will probably be the end of this vlog. Um, it was a good trip, um, minus you know the experience in New York. Um, Los Angeles was actually pretty cool, except for you know the fire. Um, it was really cool to uh, hang out with my friend Sarah last night. Um, you you saw her in one of the get clips here um but you know all good things must come to an end um this was you know a once in a lifetime trip for me and on a scale of one to ten i would say this is about a five uh it is what it is but um i've also been having issue with my cell phone um lately um I don't know what's going on. Um, I would lose service. I would go in and out of roaming. And this was in Los Angeles. Um, even at my hotel, the Crown Plaza. And even at Sarah's place in Hollywood. Um, I would lose service. And, you know, I'd be on the phone talking to either my mother or my father. And... I would just, um, don't know, really. I'm gonna step outside here. Ooh, it's kind of bright out here. Better not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So, but LA was cool, uh, minus the fire, of course. Um, New York, I think I'm gonna stay away from for a while. Um, it left a bad taste in my mouth. Vegas, of course, was cool. Um, you know, got to hang out with my friend Melissa, um, wishing I got to see my cousin Jake, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, I'm going to sign off on this vlog. Uh, time to start editing all the clips and, uh, present it here on YouTube. So, uh, glad I got this camera. Uh, I thought I was going to have to take it back, um, but apparently, like I told Sarah, on Friday um, they only accept uh, returns with receipts otherwise you get an exchange so it is what it is I like saying that by the way uh, alright guys well I, like I said I'm just rambling here uh, I'm home it's good to be good to be back makes me appreciate it more here um, so back to work tomorrow uh, and so till next time uh, signing off here take care